for freight today. Actually, I stopped by two of them. It's nice that I got two uh, in the surrounding areas. But I uh, seen that they had a coupon for the free batteries again, so I picked those up. So it's triple A's and double A's. And I like to keep the paint brushes on hand, so I got a two inch and a one and a half angled. Those are only 98 cents a piece. Picked up their 12 foot tape measure. I like it because it's small. You know, when you're working on the smaller projects, you know, like a big bulky one. But, uh, it's nice because I like the, uh, oh, it's got the eights. Not bad. That was only dollar seventy-five. But the main reason, the main pickup, is the the bank's framing nailer. It's uh, the twenty-one degree. Takes the round head nails. I'm gonna be framing in a propane tank that uh, heats up a fireplace in my living room and all that. So I don't uh, have a Nailer, nailing gun so why not this is only well it's normally 109 and uh, you can use the 20% off coupon on it which brought it down to 87.99 so definitely not bad for uh, 90 bucks you know, for the DIYer and I uh, also picked up their 2 and 3 8 inch framing nails gotta get the galvanized stuff the uh, non galvanized is a little cheaper, but definitely just being outdoors with the project, so definitely uh, happy with that. Maybe I'll do a demonstration when I put this video up when I do make that uh, enclosing for the tank. So picked up one of their brawn lights. I have like two other ones, but I want some more light in the garage. It's the 5,000 lumens. They all connect. Um, this was $17.99 without a coupon. So yeah, that's a really good deal. picked this up from uh, Amazon it is a uh, hot stapler pumps all the instructions and all that but I think this will be real handy I'm gonna try and use it on the fairings on my CVR it's a couple cracks and uh, eventually I'll put new fairings on it but I want to see how this works out and it comes with uh, different types this was $49.99. Uh, not too bad. Hopefully it works good. Try to get a demonstration on that as well. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely happy with that so far. Until I test it out, I guess. Alright, so I opened it up. I figured I'd test it out before I actually do the project. And uh, this is right out the box. Uh, added the oil already. Uh, the depth I haven't set yet. I want to see uh, what it's at now. And I got some uh, three and a half by three and a half inch here. So uh, let's see how it does. Safety first. All right, uh, that's pretty deep. A little too deep. So let's adjust that.
just by the turn of this little knob here. Definitely better. Let's try a little bit more. Looks pretty good. That was on uh, single fire. Let's try. There's a little multi uh, multi fire switch here. Not too bad. One somewhere uh, a little bit deeper than the others, but definitely not too bad. I think this, uh, this Banks gun's going to work out just good for me. That's right. So I got the uh, lower fairing here from my CBR, and uh, as you can see there is a crack here and a crack along here. So I'm going to try this uh, hot stapler out, see how it does. with five different staples so I figured I'd use these for this somewhat straight edge and then they have uh, certain staples for like a, a V or an elbow I guess you just hold it down until it's red Hold it there, and some of, should have got some uh, pliers to pull it out. I feel like it's just gonna pull out. It's a little snug in the gun. Oh. There, it did not come through the other side. So you just clip those off, and. Uh, See how that goes. Let me get a couple more done and uh, I'll show you. So I got a couple more in there. It's uh, definitely working out really well. Let me uh, just try to show you one more time. And you get better at it as you, as you go, I guess. So wait till it's glowing red. Get it in there, give it a little turn to kind of like lock it in. Let it cool off for a second. Pull up. We're kind of like uh, pressing down on it to seal it up. But, yeah, as you can see, it doesn't really, uh, as long as you're careful, it doesn't come through or anything like that. I'm going to repaint all this anyways, all of them, but 
definitely uh, worked out really well. I'm sure you can use this for uh, a lot of plastic applications. So definitely uh, worth it. It's a handy little tool, that's for sure. Uh, I'm just going to go over and just clip all these off and uh, that's about it.